uh, near the bottom in most defensive categories in Pac-12 play in 2013. Mark Rogers TV here to talk about replacing uh, the top players on each college football team across the land. We talked Cal offense with Nick Kranz of uh, at Golden Blogs, the SB Nation platform for Cal football and basketball. We're going to turn the the Football over, look at the defense. Uh, Nick, uh, basically you got two marquee players who are missing off this team going into 2014 on the defensive front. Uh, just talk about them and, and the the prospects of replacing them. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, on the entire Cal defense, there were only really two bright spots all year long, and that was the interior line play from Viliame Moala and DeAndre Coleman. Uh, junior and senior respectively. Teams could easily uh, avoid the issue by running to the outside, throwing the ball. Uh, Cal struggled to de develop much of a push in the middle. That's always hard to rush that way. But teams couldn't run up the middle and it was the only bright spot in the entire defense was the play of those two players. Unfortunately one has graduated and the other decided to declare early and that leaves a pretty gaping hole for Cal. Uh, the one chance at optimism is that Mustafa Jalil, I believe he was a four-star back when he was recruited, has been a productive player, was out the entirety of last year with an injury, should be back, should be healthy. He was expected to play alongside Moala next year in a, what was going to be the strength of the defense in the middle. Then Moala declared for the draft, and that leaves a wide-open competition next to Jalil assuming that he is healthy in the fall. And I really have no clue who's going to fill that gap right now. Sonny Dykes brought in a few JC Community College transfers that'll push for playing time immediately. Um, not a lot of guys behind them on the depth chart got playing time last year. Uh, it, it'll be a mystery, a, a new unknown name, and Cowboy fans will just have to hope that they're ready to step up, whoever that ends up being. And with Coleman, we mentioned, uh, you, you talk about him really being a standout with Moala. Uh, Coleman led the team with nine and a half tackles for loss, and for a defensive tackle to do that, when that usually comes from a defensive end or an outside linebacker leading the team in tackles for loss, for your defensive tackle to lead the team in tackles for loss, that re really emphasizes the statement you're making about the push and the interior line play from those two guys right there. Uh, Nick? We apologize for dragging you back and back and back again to talk football right in the middle of basketball season. But we apologize, but football's our thing, so we bring it back, and we appreciate you talking about this football team that's trying to get off the deck and make something happen in the Pac-12. Hey, no, I'll, I'll, I'll never pass up an excuse to talk about sports, even, even after a year like that one. <laughs> Very good, Nick. Uh, we'll have you back on, hopefully, for some spring football talk here in uh, a few weeks. All right, that's Nick Kranz of uh, Ad Golden Blogs. That's the SB Nation platform for Cal Athletics, uh, most notably football and basketball. Nick, thanks so much for joining us. Anytime. Thanks.